You're listening to In My Humble Opinion with Charles Lewis and Maxelia Robinson. Only on, on 101 what? Jams. All right, family, time for our Ask Max question for the day. I'm just going to cut right to this one. Uh, question for today is whether or not churches should be armed. Um, I guess that <laughs> that <laughs> that that question just arises out of all of the gun violence that's happening in the world. And unfortunately, some of it taking place in church. Um, unfortunately, so, wait, and, wait. And actually, unbelievably, uh-huh. yes. Um, there's one, if, if, if you don't mind, since you posed the question, yep. let me sort of first give a little backdrop of some okay. of the things that we're facing right now okay. as a nation. So people would even know why that question was even posed to us. Mm-hmm. All right. So one in particular, um, the person that brought this question to my attention, uh, brought to light to me, uh, a news story that happened at a church in Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, I think it, I think it actually was April happened mm-hmm. in April and I, some reason people weren't, aren't talking about it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but there you go again with how our media works. But okay. so here's the deal with it, though. So a man comes into a sanctuary, and I want y'all to visualize this for me real quick. Mm-hmm. Like, just picture yourself sitting in your sanctuary, mm-hmm. praising the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and a man walks in. You know, a stranger, mm-hmm. man off the street, uh, maybe a little disheveled. You know, but he's coming into church. Mm-hmm. Not, not doesn't look like a threat. Mm-hmm. Um, sits on the front row. All right. All right. And so then. Um, your your uh, deacon comes up to this man and asks the man to move because this is a reserved bench, you mm-hmm. know. And as you all know, sometimes front rows in churches sometimes are are saved for communion mm-hmm. or if you're having a christening or mm-hmm. you know or or um you know a right hand of fellowship mm-hmm. something like that, you know. So there's reasons for that. All right, so he gets asked to move. All right, but let me interject there though, mm-hmm. um, because he wouldn't move. And so if that man wouldn't move then I got to imagine that um, if you're in a church function and you're supposed to be welcoming people in, mm-hmm. last I checked, mm-hmm. that's supposed to have been the most important part. Mm-hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong in any of this. Right, okay. <laughs> but the man refused to move. And, and they told him, you know, that it was reserved space, uh, seating and things like that. And so he gets into an altercation uh, with one of the members. In the church. Yeah, one of the members at the church. Uh-huh. He refuses to move. So they actually get into a fight. Oh, wow. Right? This member of the church that he, that that, that, that this man is, 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 is in the fight with, this the member of the church, uh, it has concealed weapons from it. He pulls out his gun. The church member. Yeah. Okay. He pulls out his gun and he shoots the man, wow. kills the man. Wow. They're in the church. Wow. Right. True story. Hadn't heard about that one. Yeah. In Pennsylvania, you can look it up. It was in April. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's been other stories coming out later of people who said they were there and witnessed it, uh, you know, um, uh, to where they're uh, actually talking about like some some of the more specific things that that uh, some of the national uh, news didn't necessarily confirm. Mm -hmm. So but, uh, you know, as uh, you know, as to what, you know, as far as exactly who was involved and what exactly happened. But point is, is that someone came into church. Mm -hmm. Um, wasn't a normal member. Instead of him being welcomed in, you know, by the members and you know being welcomed into their fellowship, right? A seat was so important to make this man move that an altercation led to a member taking this man's life. So first thing I think is that the next homeless person on the street or the person that's walking by a church. Mm-hmm. Could be scared to death and be like, I don't know if I should go in there, right. but you know, because you know, people already feel uncomfortable. Right. People already don't feel welcome. You know, a lot of times feel like they're going to be judged, mm-hmm. whatever the case. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, for something like this to happen in a church, I think that's. I mean, it's absurd. No different than you know, uh, st- the stranger off the street that's walking into the church killing church members. Right. I hadn't yeah. heard about that, but I think it's it's absolutely awful. Absolutely unnecessary uncalled for and whatever descript- descriptive word that you do you want yeah. that you want to use yeah, like, we're not even talking about act of terrorists we're not talking about right. somebody racist you know like dylan roof in south carolina mm-hmm. going into a black church and, and shooting people right um it would or somebody burning a church down mm-hmm. um so because that's the uh you know that's the reverse of this right yeah you know, that's that's the flip side so it happens on both sides so mm-hmm. with all those um things in play mm-hmm. um, because there are churches that are having seminars workshops now about uh, training trustees deacons ushers um, and you know for them to be able to 
uh, uh, to carry. You mm-hmm. know, go, going through the proper training, mm-hmm. of course. So turn it into more security guards in the church. Mm-hmm. So that's the question at hand. Should we be doing that? Is that a good look for a church? You know, that's, I, I don't, at this point, I don't honestly don't know which way to side with that. Um, I know that there are people out there who believe that defending yourself is is sinful, you know, Um I know that, you know, Jesus never intended for us to be he refers to us as as sheep amongst wolves, but he and he never intended for us to be, you know, subject to the hate or the violence or or however you want to put it, that other that other people may bestow upon us where you know we're not supposed to be you know like sitting ducks just waiting to be plucked off we're supposed to be able to protect ourselves mm-hmm. and defend ourselves i agree with that. um that's that's a tough one i don't i don't know the answer i don't know how i feel about that yet it's something that i'd have to you mm-hmm. know like really reason about and, and maybe like seek some advice from my pastor or something like that but i don't i don't know i think that we should defend ourselves i don't think that we should just be sitting in the church and be subject to any joe schmo that walks in off the street and decides to mm-hmm. to hurt or harm anybody um mm-hmm. so i mean yeah and i can see the possibility uh and i can see the reasoning behind mm-hmm. that um you know, I wish that it wasn't that way and i know with me i feel safe in church so i feel like if someone feels that there's a threat within their community then your senses are heightened and and you want to you know feel that extra and that added protection i can i can understand that you feel safe in church do yes you? yes yes i personally do you know I, I do and i would and again that's why i'm saying that i can understand that in this world that we live in and mm-hmm. and people can say that you know about current times mm-hmm. and whatnot things that's going on mm-hmm. but let's not forget like that especially african-american churches have been getting vandalized and 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 um, things like that for for decades mm-hmm. so you know, it's like so. So yes, I I, I do feel a, a sense of being in a comfort zone there. Um, but again, like I'm saying, is that I can understand how with things that are going on, how people want to be protected. Mm-hmm. My issue, however, with this is that we're not living in fear, and especially if you claim to have a belief system mm-hmm. such as Christianity, mm-hmm. you're not supposed to be living in fear, right? And I feel like that when you do, that's when you go overboard, like the like the uh, parishioner in Pennsylvania Mm -hmm. and he pulls out a gun and kills an unarmed man that just came in to have church. Mm -hmm. But because he didn't know the protocol of that church, he ended up getting into a little scuffle and an argument, which is very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But if, but if people in church can't come to church to have safe and people in church can't control themselves, Mm -hmm. you know, with, with, with the firearm, Mm -hmm. You know, then we got to really check ourselves, mm-hmm. and that's and you know that's my whole thing about it right there. I mean, I think that for me personally, I have with with all the different things that take place in the world, I have reached a point where I question any surrounding. Mm-hmm. You know, I do, but then the way that I cope with it is what you were talking about is, is that if your religious belief happens to be Christianity and so you have the belief that you shouldn't be living by a spirit of fear and so that's kind of the way that I deal with it that's kind of the way that I make the that an- anxiety subside you mm-hmm. know what I mean mm-hmm. um but I, if I go to the mall if my kids are too far away in the grocery store mm-hmm. if you know because it it happens and it's not like hypothetically or what if like turn on the news like <laughs> pick a place it's it's happening people are shooting people and it doesn't matter where you are you know the airport different things like that mm-hmm. um so so that belief system though can I can I interject yep yep right. so that so that belief system though mm-hmm. you know the whole thing of sort of what is meant to be will be and God protects you. You know, he, you know, his angels encamp about you, mm-hmm. all around you. Mm-hmm. And so, do you feel like that that questions some of our faith if we feel like that we need to be armed in church? Well, see, and that's, that's what's tough for me to answer because that's how I, I cope with it at this mm-hmm. point. When I have the worry about it, then, then... I use my belief system to subside those fears and those worries. So can I say whether or not we should or we shouldn't? I don't know. I don't know if I have the answer to that yet for me personally. I don't know. I could see both sides of things. Um, 
But, you know, and things can go way wrong, just like, you know, you just know that the story that you just gave us. Um, so I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. I, I feel that my answer will will line up with whatever it ought to based on my belief and and how my and how the Bible describes, you know, protecting yourselves and things like that. I, I do trust it enough to feel like whatever that says I should do or believe in then or to have that perspective about it, then then that's what I'll go with. But at this point, I don't know which way to go. I don't know. I don't know what's right and what's wrong. You know, churches don't I mean, uh, guns don't seem like they belong in the church, but mm. people are killing people in the church. So then what do you do? Like mm-hmm. you got you got to have a metal detector at the front door. Like, mm-hmm. what do you do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> well, for times like these, right? You know, um, if God is uh is uh you know is, is omnipotent, all knowing, uh-huh. and uh, and fits every generation, then got to believe that we'll make the right choice. So, what do you what do you think? Like you said, you feel safe in your church, but do you mm-hmm. think that guns belong there? I'm saying I can understand it. Okay. You know, for someone that wants to do that, I'm saying I don't. Me personally, I don't feel like that is needed where I okay. am, and I don't feel like I need one there. Uh huh. Uh, but I can understand that, and the biggest thing is, is the control of it. Is is if it's not done in fear, then actually I would agree with it. Okay. So in other words, my answer straight out is that if it's not done in fear, I can agree with if my uh, where I fellowship chooses to do that. If it's just a precaution and we have responsible people, but if I feel like that we're getting together, responsible people can always be irresponsible. True, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get that, and you know, so so you know, so there's always that margin of error. Mm-hmm. I get that. Mm-hmm. But if we're coming to meetings and mm-hmm. we're having workshops and everybody is scared to death mm-hmm. and everybody is packing mm-hmm. and everybody is just you know <laughs> in the you know in, in in Sunday morning turns into the Wild West, mm-hmm. I'm not down for that, <laughs> not at all, because I feel like that's what all happened right. in, in this story in Pennsylvania right. is that you had somebody that was trigger happy, somebody that was living in fear, yeah, a Christian in church living in fear, right, and had to shoot a man who just walked in off the street and wanted to come fellowship Mm -hmm. i feel you i understand yep so hey what do you think any other questions any comments on that please hit us up i am h o 101 jams at gmail and on facebook we'll be right back